exactly happened here? How did this occur? Whose car is there? Well, about uh, 8 o'clock this morning, the uh, Joint East Texas Fugitive Task Force uh, received information about a uh, felony warrant that had been issued out of the Fort Worth Police Department. The warrant was for a Marlon Aaron Bonds. Uh, Mr. Bonds was wanted for a shooting that occurred in Fort Worth at a Sam's parking lot yesterday afternoon. Uh, subsequent to uh, him committing that shooting, he had made threats against his place of business and had made multiple threats to multiple uh, individuals. Uh, the Denton County Sheriff's Office and the Denton Police Department are members of that task force. And they were able to uh, trace the individual, uh, Mr. Bonds, to this location. Uh, surveillance was initiated uh, on the vehicle. Uh, at first, they were unable to tell if anyone was in the vehicle because of the, the dark tinted windows. At one point, Mr. Bonds exited his vehicle and went to the trunk and opened it. This alarmed our officers uh, due to the threats that he had made, due to uh, the public being inside Bucky's. So they decided to, they needed to effect an arrest as soon as possible. Uh, Denton County Sheriff's Office deputies blocked in the vehicle to uh, keep him from being able to flee. At that point, Mr. Bonds immediately went into his vehicle and produced a handgun, at which point uh, two Denton County Sheriff's uh, warrant deputies uh, opened fire on the individual, striking him multiple times. Uh, he was transported to the hospital and has been declared deceased. Uh, I will get you a copy of, of the warrant that was issued by the Fort Worth Police Department and we'll, we'll give copies of that to you guys before you leave. Uh, no officers were injured, uh, no civilians were injured, uh, the only uh, injuries were to the suspect. Look, once again, did, this, did, did Mr. Bonds uh, actually produce a weapon uh, prior to being shot? He did. A, a 9mm handgun, which uh, was, uh, we suspect, it matches the description of the weapon he used in the shooting he committed yesterday afternoon in Fort Worth. Was it fired? I do not know that yet. The crime scene is being worked uh, by the Denton Police Department Crime Scene Unit. The actual shooting itself will be, uh, conduct the investigation of that will be conducted by the Texas Rangers. Any questions about the specifics of the officer involved shooting investigation should be directed to the Texas Department of Public Safety. So there were a lot of different agencies here. Were marshals involved in watching? The United crime? States Marshals were here. They are part of that task force. And there are off multiple officers from different agencies that are members of that task force. And they were here in Denton County trying to locate this individual. So there were multiple uh, jurisdictions uh, at this location, yes. And they've been watching this guy with this whole group. The task force was watching him. Is that how it went? Well, they, they located him here and began a surveillance waiting on other warrant officers to get here before effecting the arrest. However, when he exited the vehicle and went to the trunk, they became alarmed that possibly uh, the way he was backed in, opening the trunk right next to an entrance, they were afraid that he might enter Bucky's and try to harm patrons. And so the, uh, the individuals, uh, the deputies, and the other warrant guys who were here waiting on other officers went in to effect the arrest. They felt that was necessary. I'm assuming that the officers involved are now on paid administrative leave as per routine standard operating procedure. Routine operating procedure. How, how many are on paid administrative leave? There will be two Denton County two. Sheriff's Office deputies. They were the ones who actually fired their weapons. And they, uh, they work for me, and they will be uh, uh, on administrative leave per routine whenever an officer is involved in something like this. Can you said that describe he... what the crime was that he uh, the, the warrant was for uh, aggravated assault with serious bodily injury with a deadly weapon, uh, enhanced by family violence on that. I believe the individual he shot was uh, a girlfriend, and uh, so that the warrant was a, was a serious uh, warrant for a very violent offense. This How was old in was Fort Mr. Worth? That was in Fort Worth. Apparently there was a shooting yesterday afternoon at a Sam's Club uh, in Fort Worth. Uh, How old was Mr. Bonds? I don't have his date of birth in front of me. That information should be on the warrant, the copy of that that you guys would get. And Sheriff, you said that he made a threat to his place of employment. Is, did you say that? Yes. And where is that? Do you know? I do not know that right now. Uh, I believe... Uh, so, well, I wondered if it was here because... because no, it was a place were, in, in Fort Worth, I believe. Because you guys got alarmed when he got out here. I thought maybe he was here. Do you know why he was here? Don't have any idea why he decided to come to Denton. Uh, just the uh, where he's parked, the way he's parked, and going to his trunk and the threats he had made. Um, the safety of the, uh, the workers and the patrons inside Bucky's became a concern very quickly for our guys.
Whose pickup truck is that? That's a Denton County Sheriff's Office uh, vehicle. Just to be clear, it is that white uh, vehicle. Yes, right? that is the suspect's vehicle. Uh, the pickup you see, they went in to block him to keep him from being able to flee, and that is a, a, a Denton County Sheriff's Office uh, issued vehicle. Anything else, guys? Hey, thank y'all so much. As soon as those copy those warrants get here, I'll have somebody bring y'all a copy over here. All right. Yeah, Thanks, Sheriff. They were on the scene, correct? Well, they they were uh, actually looking for this guy, and use, using technology, they had placed him in this area, and then they found the vehicle. And it, like I said, at first they didn't know if he was in the vehicle or in the store. Officers actually, undercover officers actually went into the store to try to see if he was there. So at that point, he exits his vehicle, opens the trunk, and and that raised the alarm uh, of the guys out here watching the car and that's when they went in to effect the arrest. Can, can you say and spell your name? I'm Sheriff Tracy, T-R-A-C-Y, Murphy, M-U-R-P-H-R-E-E. -E. Did you take something out of the trunk when you went around to the back? Is that where the weapon was? I don't believe so. I believe when they pulled up he immediately went, the weapon was in, I believe, inside the, the compartment of the vehicle. Aggravated assault, serious bodily injury with a deadly weapon, enhanced by being a family violence offense. How happy are you that this guy's off the street? Well, I'm glad we caught him before he hurt somebody else. I know, thank God he didn't walk into Bucky's and, and, and hurt a lot of people. Uh, anytime there's a loss of life, it's tragic. I, I, I hate that it came to that. I, I don't know what led up to him doing what he did. I, I'm extremely thankful that officers weren't hurt. I'm extremely thankful that my guys weren't hurt. And, uh, you know, it just uh, it goes to show that e even in what we're going through right now, you know, these guys aren't in lockdown. These guys can't social distance. They have to go put hands on people that are out to hurt others and put them away. And I'm, I'm thankful that there are, are men and women out there willing to do that. Is investigating this more cumbersome with, because of COVID? You know, it's really not. Uh, you know, the Rangers will come in and do it. Of course, uh, you know, you have to take into those considerations. But, you know, look, these guys, been working in close proximity to each other since this thing began and uh, you know we do our very best to take care of the people who work for us and uh, but unfortunately that you know law enforcement and, and protecting the citizens is just not something we can shut down. Typically Sheriff this is not the place where we want to affect the rest of the day. Absolutely it, you know if if the guy hadn't gone to the trunk if, if we hadn't been alarmed that he may go in and hurt people you know it, it would have been a lot simpler to have People come from inside the store and everything, you know, plans very seldom go the way they're supposed to go. And they made the right call. And uh, unfortunately, there was a loss of life, but, uh, you know, that, that's on him, not, not on us.